Hi everybody, thanks for watching Grokking Guitar. Um, we are going to be talking about a special event that we went to recently, so it's not quite a normal Grokking Guitar, but I think it'll be a fun one. So we're recording this in April, and um, just last month, we went to one of our favorite events of the year. It was Wintergrass. Wintergrass is a bluegrass festival, but it is a little bit of a special one because most bluegrass festivals are in the summer, outdoors, at a park or something like that, where everybody's out in the sunshine. Wintergrass, however, is right in the dead of winter, and it's indoors. Where was it? It is in Bellevue. Yeah, that's right. So in a hotel. Bellevue yeah. Jail. Yeah. The Hyatt Regency. Yeah, that's right. It was inside a hotel. And so the event pretty much takes over the hotel. And there are jam circles everywhere. And the acoustics are a bit different when you're inside of a hotel versus when you're outdoors. And it's a blast. Super well organized. Lots of people have been doing it for a long time. They've got a lot of really good musicians there that play. And for us, one of the best parts <clears throat> is all the jam circles. Yeah, and of course it's built in a hotel, and so there are lots of hotel rooms so that you can go and get oh, yeah, a that's... few nights right in the festival. I think it's four days. Yeah, something like four days. And yeah, you can just run up to your room and grab a new instrument and come back down. And we just wanted to report a little bit on Wintergrass, how it went, and play a little bit for you, and uh, let you know about some little surprises. surprises. That's right. Okay, so we'll start at day one. Day one, we signed up the boys for the kids program at Wintergrass, and this is one of our favorite things about bluegrass festivals. At most bluegrass festivals, it is all about learning and family and spending time together and playing music together, which is one of the coolest things in the world. And at a lot of bluegrass festivals, they actually have kids programs that you can sign up for and all the kids can play together. And not only do they learn how to play an instrument, uh, but they also have an opportunity to perform in front of others, which is a, a pretty big deal. Like that's hard to do when you're a kid. And so uh, we get skills on instruments, but also skills on courage and skills on getting in front of people and performing, huh? It was pretty neat. And at the kids program this year, some generous donor decided to donate... A very surprise instrument, which I will... Um, decided to donate an instrument to the kids program to be given to one of the kids who they thought would benefit from it and would use there it. There were two one. instruments. There was mm -hmm. a mandolin and a fiddle. A beautiful old fiddle that um, we were able to take into a local luthier and get it tuned up and set up and now it's in really great shape and you're learning to play it huh and it's been pretty fun isn't it yeah. it's pretty different from your other instruments because it has no frets yeah and you are and you hold it so differently yeah you don't strum it with your hands or a pick it's quite different so I have an idea. How about if we play for our viewers a little bit of fiddle? All right. I think first we're going to have to get Dad out of the frame. All right, so I'm going to be playing Old Joe Clark for you on the fiddle. This is not perfect. I'm still kind of trying to get the hang of it, but... <laughs> it's gone. Um, now, that was wonderful. Thank you for showing them that. Jack, how about if we show them um, the song that you played at Kids Camp on the mandolin? I don't know where the, sheet, where the cord, cord goes. 
Oh, well, let's play one that you already know. Let's do the same song that Jack, that Wyatt just played. Let's do a little bit of old Joe Clark. Yeah, because I got that one memorized. Is there room for your mandolin with me sitting here? No. Are we going to have to get rid of Dad again? Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay, now, Dad, can you please give me my mandolin? Sure. Thank you, Dad. Okay, now I'm going to play old Joe Clark. Let's go. Ding. Thanks, boys. That was really good. Good job with those. But there's one more thing that we wanted to say, and we, some weeks after Wintergrass, we got a call from one of the organizers, and we got some good news. See, while we were at the event, we um, put our names in for a drawing, and we found out some good news. Do you want to tell them? Mm -hmm. We won the drawing. So... The, we won a really nice recording king banjo, and it's I'm just so lucky that we got it, and I'm now going to play some stuff on it. Yeah, it's really, really perfect for, for us right now. Wyatt plays the banjo, as you probably know, and his banjo is has been a wonderful banjo, but it's kind of an entry model banjo. It, it, uh, it doesn't have a tone ring and it doesn't have a resonator, and so it's just a, a straight drum. Um, we install the pickup so that he can, uh, we can hook it up to electronics, and we've done a lot of really good learning on the, um, the Deering Good Time banjo that he has. But this Recording King has a tone ring and it has a resonator and it sounds a lot richer, of course, and it's a really, really good next step for his learning. So. That's been really fun. Should we go get the banjo? Yep, but I... first we need to get someone out of here. Okay, here I go. Thank you, Dad, for magically bringing me my banjo, and I will now proceed to play Blackberry Blossom. Here we go. <laughs> Wintergrass, that we had a great time. We are super, super appreciative for all the people that organized Wintergrass and certainly for the people that um, sent us home with some new instruments to do some real uh, family fun together with, huh? Mm hmm Anything else you boys want to say? Yeah, so we're actually going to get another instrument, right? Oh, that's right, yeah. We announced to Jack that we are going... Wait, can I... Sure, yes. What is it that we announced to you? Um... That they're going to give me a new F-shaped mandolin. Mmm. That's going to be pretty spectacular, isn't it? Mm -hmm, yeah. Mine is only an A-shape, but it's still really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's... yours is a real base-level mandolin. It was a real entry-level mandolin, but now we know you like it, and so we're going to work on a new one, huh? Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, I hope you have a wonderful Easter, and we'll see you 
on the next video. Bye. Bye, everybody.